Okay. This is going to be the last section for tonight. I doubt I'll upload all these at once, though. Section 25 of the DNC. Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, at Harmony, Pennsylvania, July 1830. The word of the Lord directed to Emma Smith, the prophet's wife. Oh, this would be good. Her duties defined and glorious possibilities of achievement set forth. The Lord's admonitions are applied to all. Okay. Section, uh, verse 1. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. For I speak unto you, Emma Smith, my daughter, his wife. For verily I say unto you, all those who receive my gospel are sons and daughters in my kingdom. <laughs> Two, a revelation. I give unto you concerning my will. And if thou art faithful and walk in the paths of virtue before me, I will preserve thy life, and thou shalt receive an inheritance in Zion. Three. Behold. <laughs> thy sins are forgiven thee, and thou art an elect lady whom I have called. Luckily, you're also married to the prophet, who's channeling Jebus right now. Murmur not because of the things which thou hast not seen. For they are withheld from thee, from the world, which is wisdom in me in a time to come. Whatever that meant. Basically, believe shit without evidence. That's faith. It's not blind faith. You just believe in a bunch of shit without evidence. Except all the shit you try to cram into that box and go, that might fit. Eh. Alright, let me hit it with a hammer and make it fit. Reality sucks, doesn't it? It's reality. Oh, that's right. Not this. <laughs> Five, and the office of thy calling shall be for a comfort unto my servant, Shelza Smith Jr. Does that mean you got to give head? <laughs> the comfort? I find that comforting. Uh, <laughs> uh, my husband! Uh, in his afflictions with consoling words. Oh, that's that's nice, too. Does it come with a hug, at least? <laughs> I'm not a total pig. I'm a partial pig. <laughs> uh, thy husband. And, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Consoling words in the spirit of meekness. Ladies, take note. That's your role model there. Flatter us and be meek about it. 
bless you. Six, and thou shalt go with him at the time of his going, and be unto him for a scribe, because he's having trouble getting a good one. <laughs> for him, that I may send my servant Oliver Cowdery, wherewith soever I will. Important business here. Seven! And thou shalt be ordained under his hand to expound scriptures and to exhort the church according as it shall be given thee by my spirit. Eight. For he shall lay his hands upon thee and thou shalt receive the Holy Ghost. Is that what you call it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and thy time shall be given to writing and to learning much. Nine. And thou needest not fear for thy husband shall support thee in the church. He's going to make some money here. For unto them is his calling that all things might be revealed unto them whatsoever I will according to their faith. Ten, and verily I say unto thee that thou shalt lay aside the things of this world. It's just this world where reality is happening. Fuck this. There's a better one in fantasy land. <laughs> You've got to die to get there. Die. Believe in this shit. The right shit, not the wrong shit. There's a bunch of shit out there. Well, most of it's, all of it's wrong except one shit. Hopefully it's your shit. I think I'm a little tipsy. That wasn't even profound. That was just disgusting. Alright. Yeah, lay aside the things of this world and seek for things of a better. And it ends with a period, but it could have been a dash going, a better over the rainbow. Eleven. And it shall be given thee also to make a selection of sacred hymns and floral arrangements and shit like that. Ladylike stuff that you can have. <laughs> as shall be given thee oh wait him. as it shall be given thee which is pleasing unto me to be had in my church twelve for my soul delighteth in the song of the heart yea the song of the righteous is a prayer unto me. Just one he doesn't have to answer because it's all ass kissing, but you know, it's in song form. <laughs> and it shall be answered with a blessing upon their little land. <laughs> Thirteen. Wherefore? Lift up thy heart and rejoice, and cleave unto the covenants which thou hast made. Fourteen, continue, in the spirit of meekness, 
<laughs> and beware of pride. Watch out for pride. It'll fuck you up. Comes before a fall, I hear. Let thy soul delight in thy husband. He's still talking to Emma. <laughs> delight in thy husband. And the glory which shall come upon him. You might get a little trickle down on you. Uh, Fifteen. And uh, keep my commandments continually. And a crown of righteousness wilt uh, thou wilt. Wait. Righteousness thou shalt receive. And except thou do this. Where I am, thou cannot come. So get with the program. Sixteen. And verily, verily, but I think I drank enough. I say unto you, I was drinking the double verilies, uh, that this is my voice unto all. Amen. That being Jebus talking through Justice Smith, but also God talking through Jebus. And, yeah, that's it. Should I do another? 26 is real quick. Let's do it. I'm drunk enough. Section 26. Revelation given to Joseph Smith, the prophet, Oliver Cowdery, and John Whitmere, in Harmony, Pennsylvania, July 1830. Instructions as to... Immediate duty. Reaffirmation of the principle of common consent in church affairs. This is some serious shit. It's only two verses. One. Behold, I say unto you, not thee, but you, uh, that you shall let your time be devoted to studying the scriptures and to preaching and to confirming the church at uh, Colesville. He's slipping into modern speak here. He's having some trouble with it. He's trying to get it back into antique Hilly Shakespeare. Hillbilly Shakespeare. Excuse me. Hilly. Hillbilly Shakespeare. And Hillbilly humor ain't cool. It's kind of racist huh? now that I think about it. Sorry about that. I'm not a hillbilly hater, honestly. Man. I love everybody. Or I willing to, anyway. All right. Um, it, uh, confirming in church at Colesville and to performing your labors on the land because somebody has to do your work while you're doing ours. <laughs> so you better do both. Be honest. Such as in is required until you shall go to the West to hold the next conference. And then it shall be made known what you shall do. So wait for that next instruction. Two. And all things shall be done by common consent in the church by much prayer and faith for all things you shall receive by faith. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So it's a bunch of bullshit. I get it. Thank you. But I'll keep reading. Alright, I'll see you guys in section 27. I've had enough for tonight. I promise not to post these all at once. <sighs> so, this one will be like one big long turd, and these will be like a bunch of little teeny, nug little teeny nuggets. So, you can look forward to that. <laughs> it's fascinating shit, though. So, stay tuned. It's gotta get better. Peace. The fuck? Out? Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. And tune in again, because it's going to get better. Maybe.